Peggy 16. My name is Atle Fagersten. I am the producer of Palinome Interactive, and we are the developers of Immortal Realms Vampire Wars. In a nutshell, it's a turn-based strategy game that combines empire management, turn-based combat, that we really feel sets us apart from other games. It makes it a little bit more approachable without losing the hardcore values that the strategy game market really requires. You have the kingdom mode and the battle mode. So you first have the kingdom mode where you conquer territories, manage your armies and economy. And then you have the battle mode where you actually battle it out over ownership of different territories. We're not a huge team, so we knew that all right, doing real time is hard and it takes a lot of effort, but doing something turn-based can make it equally good in form of strategical thinking and what you what affordances you give the player and what they can do. So that was kind of like where the decision came for. We can do this great, so let's do it. What we wanted to do was to, to take a lot of the classical uh, vampire mythos and, and put them together into sort of a, a, a nice package, so. All right, so we have three unique vampire clans in the game. We have the Dracul clan, the Nosfernus clan, and the Moroya. So the Dracul are very much based on, uh, you know, uh, the, Dr the Dracula uh, sort of mythology about the Count Dracula ruling uh, Transylvania and sort of living in synergy with, with humans. Mm -hmm. So it's very much about ruling them and sort of he has noble intents, but you know, of course, being a vampire uh, doesn't really match always with, with the, you know, the human's morality. Or their view on, on the humans are that they, they turn them into vampires and recruit them uh, into their armies. Uh, and that's the, their way of, of building their strength. They, they conquer land and take any human subjects into their armies. So they see them more of as a, a resource to be used. Then we have the Nosfernus. These guys are more corrupt ancient vampires. They're ruled by the ancient Urhamu, who is a, a vampire lord from thousands of years ago who has been imprisoned for a long time and is finally awoken again. And then we have the, uh, the Moroya, which are sort of, you know, the treacherous vampires, the noble vampires. They've, um, they're led by, by, by a woman, uh, Elizabeth that has been betrayed by her husband and she, she sort of betrayed him in turn. And they kind of don't want to interact with the humans and they definitely do not allow humans in the ranks of their armies and their units. They are considered not worthy or, or filth almost. You choose what armies you want in the kingdom mode and you structure those up and then you take those with you into battle as you try to expand your territory. And of course, depending on how well you do in the battle modes, you'll have to recruit more armies which cost more blood or you can continue your conquering. We kind of cater to different play styles. If you want to be very combat centric you can play all the combats manually and then that will take more time but if you want to just focus on the economy and the managing you can out resolve battles and then spend more of your time managing the economy and building your kingdom that way. Capturing territories, uh, defeating other armies, building up an economy, uh, advancing in, in tech levels, uh, unlocking new units, uh, building a stronger empire with the ultimate goal being to conquer the land and be, be the last one standing. 